NFA is basically DFA plus three more powers. To the DFA, we give three more powers, then we get NFA. Okay, so remember, conceptually, NFA is similar to DFA, but NFA has three extra powers, and these three extra powers, these are non-determinism, null moves, and no moves. So let's see one analogy to understand this. This is your DFA. Okay, this Gangadhar, you can see, this is your DFA. Now, to this DFA, we give three powers. We give these three powers, non-determinism, null moves, and no moves. So you can see to this DFA, we give the power of non-determinism. We give the power of null moves. We give the power of no moves. Then finally we get NFA. Okay. Is this point clear? Now with these extra powers, remember NFA means all the powers of DFA plus three extra powers. Okay. So you can see these three extra powers we give to NFA. Now with these extra powers, do you think NFA can accept some language which no DFA can accept with these extra powers. Can NFA recognize some language which no DFA can recognize? Let me tell you the answer is no. The answer is no. NFA and DFA, they are equally powerful. Means they are equivalent. Okay, so you can see Gangadhari Saktimane, NFA and DFA, they are actually equivalent. Let me tell you. These extra powers, using these extra powers, NFA cannot accept any extra language which DFA cannot accept. See, every language that NFA will accept, DFA can also accept. Okay, so this is the point that NFA and DFA, they are equivalent. So is there any language that is recognized by DFA, but it is not recognized by any NFA? The answer is no. Is there any language which is recognized by NFA, but not recognized by any DFA? The answer is no. Uh...